Hey guys, it's Dan Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com and today we're taking a look at Blue Street Brass from Indigenous. For this very stylized noir brass library, the Indigenous Sample Library's team teamed up with Impulse Records and it features some authentic instruments of the early 1900s. It definitely has some of that 1930s and 40s jazz sounds. Blue Street Brass downloads as 1.5 gigabytes. It's a sample set from some vintage brass recordings, and it's uh, focused on sustained articulations. There's a, a pretty decent script of legato in this engine as well. A nice, simple interface, very easy to get around. It also contains 12 mic impulse responses um, from authentic sources from the 1920s to the 1980s, as well as some reverbs and whatnot. Uh, it does require the full version of Contact 5 or higher. It sells for at 79 US dollars. And at the time of putting together this first look video here, it was on a limited time intro price of just $59. Blue Street Brass sells from indigenous.com. So this is a first look. I haven't uh, spent any time with the library. Um, I heard and watched the trailer, and I loved the sound. So let's just dive right in. It looks like we've got a number of brass instruments we could pull up. This is a 1920s trumpet uh, with a vibrato, and let's just play it. very responsive that's the one thing i can tell right now that uh it's a nice haul it's just a little bit much but it does definitely fit into that oh this is great okay you can control uh your dynamics via velocity or i can combine mod wheel controls which i'm a big fan of I can't, uh, it seems like the loudest isn't that loud. Let me crank that up and see how loud we can go. Yeah, I think it's a scripted dynamic. I don't hear a lot of layers, so I'll have to check back on that. Um, and oh, here's a legato button. And we got legato controls. really smooth. I like that. Yeah. And I assume we can really whack out. Let's see. Yeah, we can really push our look out of time. That sounds really nice. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, Oh, microphone settings. Let's see what we got. <laughs> this is really cool. Now, there's so many of these, I'm going to assume these are microphone emulations. Um, Still got my legato totally whacked out here. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, that's great. Uh, so we got uh, microphone emulations from the 20s to the 90s. Um, as with all indigenous libraries, I'm going to go so far to say right now that for the asking price, a very affordable $59.95, um, I would be thrilled if I only had this trumpet and maybe the Harmon or Cup trumpets. Uh, but Indigenous has gone, oh, we've got a lot of instruments. We have flugelhorns, sax horns, trombones, alto horns, brass, low brass ensembles, 1920s trumpet one. So much, so many samples here. You can hear the limitations already with velocity. I believe I can, um, but this is a really cool instrument. So let's, uh, let's listen to what else we got. So I mentioned the halls. Let's see what our other options are. Let's just start small studio room. distracted <laughs> i really like that music club that's uh that's a really nice sound to it, it does sound like uh, you're in a small jazz club very nice this library is uh very responsive um it uh it's it's got some pretty realistic shorts and dynamic seems to be pretty nice so really responsive easy to play right on the keyboard to get a realistic tone now you're gonna have limitations of course um you're not gonna be able to do everything not all your articulations i don't hear any falls There's some dynamic limitations. I think you can hear that there. But very convincing overall. Extremely... Uh, film noir sound you can get out of this thing here.
Um, I think one thing, one thing I might have asked, uh, would have liked to have heard, I think, is maybe just a little bit more of that spittle sound, maybe like a little level to adjust that. Because, you know, when you're in a, a jazz club and if you haven't been out to one recently, uh, go look, see who you could see live. Um, when they're playing, they're playing, sometimes they're playing so soft, like some of those Miles Davis albums, playing so soft, you get almost as much breath and spittle as you do. Um, the actual tone of the instrument it becomes part of that whole vibe. Would have loved to have had a little bit of that. I can hear a little bit of air there, which is nice. Uh, I've got my uh, time whacked out for my legato. Oh yes, I was hoping there'd be some falls and and uh... okay, so it seems that uh let's go jump back and just make sure we didn't miss any of those others. It looks like. Looks like none of the others had these uh, with with arts. Okay, one trick there you got to be careful of. I'm playing with the legato, so I'm playing up. high for my line and then because my uh falls are way down at the bottom of the part of the keyboard hear it <laughs> trying to do the uh, adaptive legato there so if i take that off it's not doing it Here we go. Euphonium. This is a rarely used in our uh, scoring world. And I have to say, uh, I have to thank the Euphonium. The Euphonium actually was one of the big reasons I was able to gain a music scholarship. Because I played Euphonium and uh, paid for a good chunk of my schooling. Although uh, I, I became addicted to the recording studio and ended up leaving school before I finished. Okay. This one uh, doesn't really have any bite for staccato. It's got a little bend up when you play each note. sax horn yeah it's got a pleasant tone again it's a it's uh limited to the um the smoother legato and lines i don't have the legato turned on though this one you get a little bit of that air too I can hear it okay this one I hear uh, let me turn this hall off 
This one, um, I can hear a little bit of drift, stereo drift. Just happened upon it just now. Let's go back to my favorite, the music club. Yeah, I think maybe that uh, could have been uh, editing. Uh, maybe could have forced these, the sample to be a little bit more uh, centered. Sounds like it only is affecting that low part there. Let's really give the trombone some, uh, some slide. Gonna have to, I think, adjust that, especially for a trombone to get it to sound a little more real. Um, could be because I played trombone also, but I'm I'm not loving that one. HM tuba is from the nineteen hundreds. I love this tuba. This is totally uh something I'd use. I I do a lot of a little quirkier uh circusy stuff. I could totally uh, see myself using that. Not loving that one. Uh, and it looks like there's no legato option. This, I do like, the low brass. It seems to have a very, it's got a lot of character. I think this could be, uh, I think I could use this quite a bit. Especially when you're going to move away. If you're moving away from a big classic orchestral sound you have so much freedom to really add this kind of unique stuff if you listen to scores like hellboy um, i'm a huge fan of when uh, composers uh, such as mark beltriami he does this a lot they go out uh, to craft a new kind of ensemble you haven't heard uh, then therefore creating a new world that we haven't heard high brass ensemble Not too bad. There's a little bit of stereo stuff going on there, but I like it. Oh, I missed that note, didn't I? It's odd that uh, it's odd the Sports Center has a, a triad in it, isn't it? I never thought about it that way. Uh, so we got two. Bugle horns. It's got a nice bite to it, and uh, you turn off the reverb. Yeah, it, it, it would like to have <laughs> some reverb to help it out, but it. This 
Civil War. I don't know any Civil War tunes off the top of my head. But that's pretty cool, and it looks like they've included a whole bunch of uh, the demo MIDI uh, material, which um, I'm going to load it in, and uh, that's what I'm going to use here for the old intro uh, for this video. Thanks so much for checking out the video. I hope you have gotten a little better insight as to what Blue Street Brass has to offer. I'm thrilled with um, Indigenous and what they've been doing, and this is... Uh, this is a really wonderful sound, um, really unexpected, and I have to say, as with most of their libraries, this is a great uh, value uh, for what you get. I'm sure you guys are going to snap this up. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'd love your support. Be sure to head over to samplelibrarywreview.com uh, to check out the latest deals, news, and reviews. 